Hello YouTube, it's the Canadian Edge and it's time for another knife review. And the knife on the table today is from Concept and some of you may recognize it. It is the Mini Helix. I believe that's how they pronounce it. That's how I'm pronouncing it. Um, they have this one and they have the large one, if you can believe that this one's the Mini. Anyway. It has a blade length of 3.25 inches. Open, it is 8 inches, so good size knife. Closed, it, it is, closed, it is 4.75 inches. I have my English speaking languages after. Just kidding. Uh, the steel on this, it is a D2 and it is a drop point blade. It also has if you look at the profile, it has kind of a tanto-like profile. It has a little bit more of a belly, not quite straight across like a tanto, but it, it has kind of a gentle tanto profile to it. The handle on this G2, G2, G10, gosh, I'm losing it today. And the weight on this, it is a 4.4 ounce. It has stainless steel liners, which are milled. And I don't know if you can, yeah, actually you can see that through the, through the Jade G10 handle, it uh, shows up. And the pocket clip, sorry lefties, but the pocket clip on this, it is right hand carry. And it is tip up, which is nice. And most knives are, are that way nowadays. It is flipper opening with liner lock. And I like this too. They've recessed a bit so that you can actually get to the liner lock. You don't have to fight uh, to try and get your thumb in there to, to use the liner lock. And it has jimping on the back of the blade. A little bit on the back of the handle here. And also a bit of jimping on the uh, flipper tab there. It also has a lanyard hole for those who put lanyards on their knives. And the ball bearing, it has ceramic ball bearing pivot, uh, which makes for smooth operation here. And it deploys very nicely. A bit of a snap to it, as you can hear when you open that up. It almost feels assisted uh, in a way because it snaps out there pretty darn good. And it has a finger choil to give you different grips. Uh, allow for more fine control as you shave or whatever it is you need fine control for when you're using the knife. So the finger choil is nice there and it also makes sharpening a little easier as well. <clears throat> so it also is pretty much centered. Well, it is, it's centered. And there is no blade play, which is nice. Nobody likes blade play. So up and down, side to side, it sits in there nice and solid and uh, works quite well. And I'm gonna trim my finger off here. I keep putting it in, in the way of the blade when I close it. So hopefully no injuries. Let's take a look at some size comparisons here. Straighten that out a little bit, sorry. We have the Ontario Rat 2. So you can see this has a bit of size on the Ontario Rat. Um, yeah, quite a bit, actually. How about the bug out? Well, the bug out is also quite a bit smaller, as you can see. And we'll grab a couple more here and check on them. We have the Tenacious Spyderco, and it is 
finger width smaller. And the cogent from Sabibi. And it's not quite as small, but it is still smaller. Just, just a hair smaller. So, so it's a good size knife, especially for a mini knife. Sharp wise, what's the blade like on this thing? We will find out. And you can see that they got that D2 nice and sharp. It goes through through the paper quite easily. And we will try with the zip tie. The bane of my existence. They're handy, but uh, just not convenient to cut. Oh, that was a big blade. I need a bigger zip tie. But go through it. Pretty darn easy considering I didn't have much to grip the zip tie with there. And go through that. Pretend paracord. It's quite easy. And the nylon cord. It uh, goes through all that pretty easy. And the nice thing is even though this blade does angle up a little bit, it's flat enough that those things didn't ride up the blade. So that's a plus. <clears throat> so this thing, I, when I saw it, I was like, oh, I like the aesthetics of this knife. It's kind of an interesting looking knife, especially in the handle here. Uh, you got the thin design and whatnot, but I also like the blade profile. You got the different little swedges happening here, give you a different look. And it, as I say, it's kind of a gentle, profile, tanto profile, um, look to it. So I thought it was a good looking knife, uh, a little different looking knife than a lot of them that are on the market at present time. The ergonomics on this, the ergonomics are good, but it's, they're kind of interesting because this of the design of the handle. Uh, you can, you know, hold it this way, which, is perfectly fine but it feels more comfortable to hold it this way it uh, is definitely designed for like close work and that uh, work where you need a little bit more control and whatnot it would be fantastic for that not that it wouldn't work regularly but just the design it puts puts your grip different. So the jimping really doesn't do a lot when you're in this grip here, at least for me. Guys with bigger hands, they would find this no problem. In fact, guys with bigger hands would probably just hold it like this. Anyway, but in, in this grip, it's not uncomfortable, it's just different. And so, I found that a little different. I found this a more comfortable grip to hold the knife uh, this way. But again, depending on what you're doing, that's not the grip that you want to have for this knife. But in terms of control in that, the knife, you got good grip. It's easy to control. Your grip is solid. There is a bit of knurling on the G10. So it, it adds to your grip and then the jimping on the back and on on the flipper and then on the blade it all helps to give you that good grip and even here you can see they've kind of dipped it a little bit so if you are pushing here you're kind of almost pushing against a, a thumb ramp so it does give you grip there as well even though you're not actually on the jimping itself so yeah it's just a different grip it's an interesting grip and the pivot on this is smooth. I really like that. It, uh, it's pretty much drop close. Part of that's the size of the blade. But the pivot is very smooth on them. And if you're familiar with concept knives, I've, I've heard that from different people that they have a, a nice smooth pivot system on them. Excuse me. A couple of the things that I 
don't really care for. Uh, it is a bigger knife, as you can see, compared to, you know, like the Ontario Rat 2, which is, it's almost twice the size. Even the Cogent, you know, it's got lots of size on it. Um, because it's a bigger knife, it is a little bulkier in the pocket. But it is a thin knife in that, so it's not as bulky as you would think, but it's definitely, it takes up room in your pocket, especially through here. Um, that's a lot of, a lot of knife. So you are going to notice it in the pocket. Not a deal breaker, but, but it is something to consider if you don't like big bulky things in your pocket. Uh, this probably isn't the knife you want for an everyday carry. And my biggest beef with a lot of knife makers, the pocket clip sits up and the screws are elevated. So that's going to be wear and tear on your pocket. And uh, just countersink them. You know what? It's, it's not that hard. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. I've never done it. Anyway, that would be my preference is to have a countersunk. Uh, so you don't have that extra wear and tear on the pocket. And one of the things that I noticed, maybe it's just me, the uh, jimping is coarse on here because it's such a small tab that um, you really notice when you open it that this would not be a fidget knife for me because my finger would get sore pretty quick. Uh deploying the blade frequently so it is aggressive jimping there but at the same time you are sure to have a good grip for opening this knife uh, your finger won't slip off when you're trying to deploy the blade it's it's you got a good grip for that so it's kind of a trade-off it is rough uh and maybe I just need to toughen my fingers up. But uh, yeah, definitely wouldn't be a fidget knife to sit and open the knife and close it for a long period of time. But it is a very nice knife. And I, I like it. it uh, it's good for chores and that that you're doing around here. You got good size. You could do chopping with it uh, to some degree. I wouldn't chop big things, but you could chop small branches and and uh, thicker cord and that with it, and and it would work well. It's got some weight to it with the 4.4 ounces. So so it is if you're working and want a good solid work knife, this would be a good EDC for a lot of people. <clears throat> the D2 is going to hold an edge for a long time and and that so so it is a good EDC uh, it's just you have to decide you know is big and bulky and I guess tactical uh, what you're looking for in an EDC or or is it just something for a casual carry which is what it would be for me uh, it it won't be something that I carry on a regular basis. But for different situations, it would definitely uh, do the trick. All right, that is the Concept Mini Hell X. Thank you for joining me. Hit a like, hit a subscribe, leave me a comment. I will get back to you. And uh, I'll be doing another review in a few days. So. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, and you stay safe and stay sharp.